So thanks so much for joining me for this final video in this series all about the StockSync Shopify app and how to integrate it for your own Shopify store. So if you haven't seen the other three videos, then I will post a link in the info cards above as well as the description below this video so that you can go in and check those out. So as I said, this is the fourth video in this series. So this is where we're really bringing it all together and we're gonna be talking about how to filter your feeds with the StockSync app. So by filtering your feed data, this is really gonna give you the best overall look of your products and your inventory, as well as the ability to search and organize this information so you can make sure that it's all just right there at your fingertips. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer and I'll show you where to start. So we are back in my Shopify store now under apps over here on the left hand side and we're just going to click stock sync to get into the app. So you can see here we have our import feed that we set up originally in our first video and the update feed where we updated our quantities in the second video. So if you haven't seen those yet, I will post a link below this video where you can see all of the videos that we have in this whole series. So in this final and fourth video in the series, we are going to be filtering the product feeds. So the benefit of doing this is that we, by doing it, you only have to update or import what is needed, which is really nice because it means that you're not, you know, running this huge process that's going to take a long time editing all of the products on your Shopify store, as well as it's going to reduce the cost by reducing the number of variants or products that you're going in and updating. So keep in mind with the Stock Sync app, you are using the monthly subscription, which is limited to the number variant for updating products. So by going in and filtering and only editing the information that you need to edit, it saves you the cost there of, especially if you're doing the credit system and not using all of your processes up. So to do this, we're going to go under the update feed. So both of them have it. You can see this little funnel here that says apply filters. So we're going to click on it. And you can now see that we have this pop-up window with your different options. So this filtering feed data, this is only for if you use the import feed and you're using that functionality. This filtering Shopify products, you're only going to see this if you have gone in and done an update feed. So you're only going to see certain information depending on what kind of feed you're updating. So for here, under the filtering Shopify products, you can see what you can filter them by. You can filter by the collection that they're in, if they are published or not, the vendor, the product type or the tags, and you have the ability to include or exclude them. And you can see the same if we click over here to the filtering feed data, you can see the same options over here. It's just displayed a little bit differently where you have the column name. So for here, you would just hit filter and you would do what you want the filter to be by. So you could say vendor and you could say, let's say you want to include all Nike products. So you want to include the Nike vendor products and update just those or you could go in and exclude those so you can update everything except for the Nike products. You can see the same over here if we click back to the filtering Shopify products, which again you only get if you are doing the up or update feed. You can see here that you can include it by vendor as well of including Nike or excluding Nike as well as the product type, tags, published, and collection. So for my store, I named all of the vendors for my test products as StockSync. So I could come in here and say, I want to update all of my products at step, except the StockSync ones. So I am now putting this exclude in here. So we'll hit save and close. And that filter has now been saved. So you can go in and make sure that you're only updating those specific ones moving forward. Also, as you're adding in more up imports and update feeds, you can always use this top filter area to search all of your feeds. So what we did was filtering the individual feed. 
However, you can set, see up here that you have the ability to update and search for any of those. And again, you can search by the feed name, which you would probably want to have them all named a little differently from how I have it named of import and update. And you can just hover over this arrow and rename the feed to be whatever you want it to be. So that way you can make sure that you're always updating the products that you need to update. And you can see now that we have that filter in, it's now outlined in blue. So that way we know that there is a filter already applied to that. And if we click in, we can see that there, or we could change it if you want to change it as well. So thanks so much for watching this series all about the StockSync Shopify app. I would love to know what your thoughts are and if you're going to be using this app in your Shopify store. So make sure to comment below any questions that you have. And if you've used this app before, we would love to know.